Hello race fans, sim fans, RC fans, Racing 393. Now here's something a little bit different. Um, I stumbled across this. Uh, it was a link on, uh, I think it was an advert, a side advert. Um, and I just caught a picture of this car. I didn't know what it was. And I clicked on it. Uh, and since uh, that was yesterday uh, afternoon, I clicked on it. Um, and then I noticed that some other uh, YouTube RC channels had uh, Riario in the in the uh, title. So I thought to myself, there's obviously uh, there's something going on here. So I went back to this advert. Um, I saved it. Because I think it looks quite good. I wasn't quite sure whether I'd... Because I looked at the prices. I was thinking, that can't be right. But anyway. Riario bringing out this... Uh, various different kits. <clears throat> These are basically speed run cars. Uh, AK917. One tenth scale speed run cars. I think this looks amazing. I quite like that shape. Very retro. Um, and the prices are astronomically cheap they've got offers so they call this Rilario is that an I Riario I think I think that's how it's pronounced and you can see here we've got various different um, configuration so we got oh, it's electric so we've got this one here it's a pre-sale so it's this carbon fiber brushless ready to run uh, muted uh, of like a hundred miles an hour out of the box so a hundred miles an hour out of ready to run um well that's going to be a, a bold statement and then you've got a uh, the metal version of that kit so it's slightly cheaper a hundred dollars cheaper as it happens it's still a ready to run on road and then we've got the metal version brushed version version that's slightly cheaper again, but again, it's uh, ready to run, RTR. And then you come down to these ones here, which um, are basically probably a good purchase, to be honest with you, uh, where you can put your own electrics in. Now, um, I was considering going down this route. You know, for $130, it's probably a, a no-brainer. If you've got your own electrics and you know the electrics perform well, then this one would be a very, very good. So it's saying 200 kilometers an hour. I mean, that is a bold statement. 200 kilometers an hour. That is about, what's that? 120 miles an hour. Are you sure? 120. I mean, I suppose it depends what you put in it. So... Does that mean they do 120? I don't think they will. That, that's a bold statement. But anyway, $129, $179. Depends if you want one that's uh, uh, metal or carbon fibre. They look really good. Now, I have ordered one of these. I've never had a ready to run, but this is ticking all the right boxes for me. Uh, and I've ordered this one. Uh, the one-tenth carbon fibre brushless, ready to run, on-road cars, supercar, and in that colour. I quite like, that's the old retro golf colours of Le Mans back in the day. There's plenty of other race cars, even today, that use that colour. So I'm going to click into this. And you can see here, uh, let's go through it. So it's a, it will be 500 USD, so... It's like two hundred dollars cheaper. That just seems it's it's never going to be. Once that sale is off, unless you now is this this typical uh, upsell? You know the car's only worth one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> we'll sell it for three hundred, but say it's worth five. I'm a bit cynical, but it looks amazing. Now I've I've gone with this. It's in Beijing. Uh, the pre-sale. Starts on the 15th of March, which was uh, yesterday. Just get my dates right. 
So let me read through this down there. It's got a, it's a professional one tenth ready to run supercar with the aerodynamic structure of a classic model. Hence this sort of shape, very classic Le Mans type model. When using 4S LiPo battery and upgraded motor, etc. So it, the motor in it is probably not going to be capable of doing 200 or 120 mile an hour. So there's one thing. It can bash at an amazing speed of 200 kilometers an hour. That is such a bold statement though. Over on-road and light off-road services. Uh, this will probably be... I won't Normally I buy cars like this. I won't say like this, but anything ready to run. I'll, I'll do a YouTube video of it, of running, and then I'll sell it. I, I won't be selling this one. It's far too specialised. I'm hoping it's not going to fall apart. Um, but this, I'll definitely do a video of this running anyway. Uh, that is incredible. This supercar is not only provides incredible extreme speed, but also can inspire your endless passion. So you can probably upgrade it to whatever you want to put in it. Um, People spend a lot of money getting cars to go 100 miles an hour or about 160 kilometers an hour. So that's incredible. So we're going to go down here a minute. Uh, I mean, that, you can see here. Uh, should I click that? Show you a sort of proper picture of it. Uh, it looks amazing. It comes in this sort of hard case carbon fiber box. Um, and a reasonably okay hand controller. I suppose you could put your own. Uh, hand controller um, electrics in there which is something I probably will do if I'm honest with you um, it comes in that color as well um, that's okay I think that's a little bit more toy I mean it is a toy isn't it people hate that play uh, grown men playing with their toys <laughs> I don't care though I like that um, that's exactly the same picture as that one but without the box and here you can have like a look down I hope my head big fat head ain't in the way but here's the sort of layout very simple it's very speed run esque um, there's loads of uh, channels out there RC channels that specialize in those speed run armors um, uh, what what that Armour infraction. Oh, they, no, that's the truck. What's the other one called? I can't remember now. Stop me. I should know. But very much like this. It's definitely not going to be that build quality. It does look okay. But you can see here that things can be upgraded. I haven't even got a 4S LiPo, so that will be something I'd have to buy. I know they're not cheap. But it's fully adjustable. And I'll show you something else in a minute. There is a shed load of upgrades you can get for this um, and there's another one there that must be different I don't know what these mean actually I'll have to have a look but uh, different types of motors with upgrades I think some of these upgrades are what you buy aftermarket with the color uh, but yeah it looks really good and it's built for the speed so and and the fact that you can upgrade it also is awesome so you've got a spare tire there which uh well it must be weight but end of the day a, a car like this would not have a wheel in it would it you know a little more does a little more car no it doesn't maybe back in the day not have carried their own tires in here i digress so it's very sleek looking aerodynamic based to so keeping it down that's that old retro it's like GT40 type look at the back. I think the Ferrari also uh, looked like that at the back. Lovely looking car. I quite like the colour on that one, I must admit. Uh, yeah, so we've got some real good pictures here. Um, body clips, which are... They won't lose in the retainers, so you can just pull those out and they're just sort of easy to put back on again. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, that's the red one. Again... And they're sort of showing you various different ways that that can be purchased. So this is the uh, parts and accessories. So standard parts, which can go here, or optional parts. Uh, there's obviously a parts list. And then you've got all RC parts. So I think initially we'll click this one because this is the option part. I haven't bought any of these. But we'll go in and have a look. They're all on sale. 
so you can buy they're obviously the colors and that there must be a uh, let's have a quick look so for example they're doing in red as well uh they're in orange metal so they're obviously the ones on the car plastic and these ones here are the metal ones and they're not very expensive i mean they're cheap at 17 dollars i think I mean, even that would be like what uh 12 quid for a pair i think that, they and also they are upper so uh looking at this these ones here are the lower so you've still got to buy these obviously and they're about the same price so it can mount up it's going to mount up isn't it if you get all the upgrades uh it's going to be quite an expensive upgrade and you know is the metal going to make the car heavier would it bend etc i mean they look all right i mean they're typically what uh i've gotten some of my rc cars um on my sort of one temp scale so you can see here you've got uh front upper suspension arm there um that's the rear upper suspension arm uh and that's the rear lower they're all about a bit cheaper but still 17 odd dollars Carbon fibre chassis. So I, my, the kit I've got is carbon fibre. I'm hoping it comes with all the carbon fibre bits on there. Um, Centre drive shafts. So it'd be interesting to see how mine comes. It won't come with the metal upgrades. And you've even got here, which is really good, uh, brake disc and caliper. So you've got the disc which spins in the caliper. I mean, that's, that's good. Great for scale, but it's added things. If you're trying to get speed... Uh, I don't know. Is that what you're going to want on there? Uh, the aluminium wheel set. So, I, that's an aluminium wheel. I don't know whether the wheels are aluminium that are on the car, actually, when you buy it. And you've got this sort of motor thing, which is interesting, if you're trying to get a bigger pinion on the car. Um, gearbox. And rear steering hub. I, if, I, if anything, I'd go the red route, if I'm honest. But it's going to be a lot of money, isn't it, getting all that? Uh, what else they got? So they got this gear. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a special offer. And we got these sort of rear wings as well. So the special offer was getting one of these spur gears in gold for the first 500 or something. I, I read that somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, that's very armor-ish, armor isn't it? They've got that on the speedrun armors um, to keep the car in a straight line. I mean, I. It is a rip-off of the armour. Um, obviously, the quicker motors. They come in various different sizes. But it's got choose options. So you go into here. It depends on the size that you want. I mean, $71 there. Um, the KV here is more the a higher power, isn't it? So you, you, something like like that one there 99 in stock so you can see people probably have bought them but that's not going to be cheap is it that's going to be so expensive getting all that i mean these aren't cheap either i mean they're lipo batteries that's a a, a free s um and then you've got like various different things like the 46 kilogram servo. That's a powerful servo. I don't know what comes in the car. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I th also I think, um, looking at this. So looking at here, we've got, I'm going to read this through. This is the advertising side of it. It's a, it, we've read this one. So it's a. Uh, a professional car that's designed to do or it can be over 200 kilometers an hour which is 160 miles 120 miles an hour i think that says so the ak917 metal brushed 50 kilometers an hour uh the a the other one that's the metal version brushless 120 kilometers an hour and then the one i've ordered 
the carbon fiber brushless ready to run 160 so that's because it's got what's in the car and then you've got your roller with the alloy chassis because you can put what you want in it so of course it is potential it doesn't mean it's going to do it but that is a bold statement that's a bold statement um a hundred miles an hour that would be very very much a uh an interesting thing um so the first 200 buyers will get a pair of carbon fiber wings worth 29.99 dollars and a necklace of a gold plated 52 tooth spur gear for the 201st to the 500th buyer so the first 200 get a the wings and the next 201 to 500 buyers will get a a, a gold plated hence you can see it there spur gear 52 teeth so it must be smaller than what's actually in the kit okay so basically you can't double up on that so you only get that all that and it says if your order contains a pre-sale items gifts may be sent separately so i don't know where i'm at with that at all i don't know how um i don't know where i'm in the buying sort of list from the first 200 or within the first 500 um yeah so they've got inquiries they they, they sort of hold the rules don't they may 2023 there's a twenty thousand dollar prize a prize fund let's have a look at that it's a competition so we expect to announce uh, a detailed rules in april and the official competition will kick off in may exciting loot for this event so if someone can think that an rc hobby can't bring you something of value show them what you get show them what you can get from it with this event from it that's spelt wrong that's form it form it that's why i can't read with the spelling mistakes the twenty thousand prize pool so it's not just one prize um really sounds exciting so here's what you need to do if you want to win it so it's not just speed speed is the criterion for judging grades but for this event speed is not the only criterion criteria it is an eye catch it is as eye catching as the RC car that is handled sensitively or painted perfectly. The variety of RC events is enough to set off some storms. But in order to ensure that the starting line of the participants is the same, the participants must have an AK I keep wanting to say AK forty seven, but Anyway, AK-917 as an entry ticket for the event. It is worth mentioning that this event does not impose any restrictions on the version of the AK-917. You can even choose the roller version of it, as long as you have the confidence to modify it into a star on the track. Anyway, look forward to the confrontation in May. It's worded a bit weird, isn't it? But that's the... Uh that's the way it is. Clearly, if you've got the car as a roller and put a load of stuff on it, that's going to make it much more, much quicker than what the kit version stuff, the electronics, the motor, etc., etc. You're going to get people that put in a crap load, aren't you? So I'm not sure that the, what I do is going to make it quicker. Basically, I don't know if I can afford that because it's it's a I don't know, it's pretty worth doing if you can uh, afford to put it all in. I have to get some sponsors. Someone will sponsor me to buy, to kit it out. Although, to do those sort of speeds, you're going to hit 200 kilometres an hour or more, possibly. I don't have the room or the or the, the area to do that in. I've got a runway, but it's not it's not big enough. Or, uh, well, it's pretty big enough, but it's not smooth enough for, for that, I don't think. Anyway, that uh, that certainly is interesting. So, what do you think? Are you have you ordered one? Are you going to get one? 
Oh, do you want to get one now you've seen this video? Um, yeah, I... There's obviously a YouTube channel here, a uh, video to watch. Um, we can Before we end, let's have a look at the... Uh, some of this that's here. So, it's a ready-to-run competition competition grade RC. Fully assembled, everything needed. As well as a 2S battery. Oh, it does come with a battery. Well, I didn't know that. 2S. So, it, it, it take 4S or more, won't it? Carbon fibre chassis. Right, so it features a lightweight, sturdy and flat design. Has more space for modifications, providing more diverse range of modification styles. Suspended independent gearbox. The new designed suspended independent gearbox increases the anti-impact strength. One eighth differential. Corresponding one eighth gearbox uses this one tenth car ensures the transmission is Transmission safety and efficiency. It is worded weird, isn't it? Carbon fibre upper deck. Triangular carbon fibre support deck enhances the durability and stability of the whole vehicle. Lightweight, but stiff enough. <laughs> now, it just, why am I laughing at that? And it isn't that word, by the way. It's just the way it's worded. Aluminium adjustable shock absorbers. So for aluminium, for you Americans... Adjustable shock absorbers filled with high quality shock oil, no space, provides additional turning tuning. What? Additional. Should that say tuning? It says turning. <coughs> tuning pistons. Keep the car run and turn stable. That's weird. I know what it means, but that's not English, is it? So it's got a foam bumper. Um, the large front foam bumper is 0.57 of an inch thick. Is integrated with the body to provide maximum protection. Yep. A split structure steel centre drive shaft. So split structure centre drive shaft is composed of two separated drive steel drive shafts connected by an aluminium uh, support. So. I thought that's part of the upgrade, so that might be interesting. So, anyway, which can avoid deformation of drive shaft during high-speed rotation. So, I suppose it stops it flapping about. Uh, split. Oh, I've said that one. <laughs> My God, read it. Uh, professional hobby-grade transmitter and receiver. So, the typical transmitter, 150 meters control distance, and a, so it might be quite. It has to be quite a good uh, controller in there. 150 meters. I don't know if I can see 150 meters. Adjustable battery compartment. So with a unique adjustable battery space for different battery sizes, easily remove and install the battery. A 3,300 milliamp hour LiPo battery hard case. So that comes with it. Features a 35C continuous discharge rating for high performance and longevity. Maximum burst rate 50C. Yeah, hard case prevents any damage if it does go out. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so it's got it's got a battery with it, so that's good. In the box, you get one. It's got little stars. Does that mean one of? Yeah, a forty tooth steel pinion gear. So there was that free. What was that? Thirty seven tooth was not something. A seventy eight tooth nylon spur gear. Oh, you get another one here. Look, you get a, a 63 tooth spur gear and a 52. So, different gear ratios there. So, that would be interesting. A sticker. Another sticker. A little wrench. Hex wrench. Charging cable. Double solid tape for the ESC. Battery Velcro strap. Clear security film for chassis. Uh, a configuration and operation booklet. Instruction manual. Good. Um... Okay, so that's final. That's done. This is going on for quite a way now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know when it will be here. Uh, and when it is, there will be a video, an unboxing video. Uh, so please like and subscribe. There's going to be This is going to be all over the internet with the other top YouTube channels. It will do. I like this. I'll watch them. They won't watch me. I don't care. I don't know, that was that supposed to rhyme, but it didn't. 
I've run out of words again. Right, I'm done. Again. Uh, please like and subscribe, as I said. I'm trying to be serious. And I'll see you when I get this for an unboxing. Thank you for watching and bye for now.